Welcome to Legacy of Leaders on Buzz TV. I'm Jack Sears, your host. Each time we get together, we visit with local leaders who are making a true difference in our community, our businesses, and in the quality of our lives. And today, we have as a special guest, Rob Chumbook with the founder of the Lone Warrior Foundation. Rob, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's nice Great. to be here. It's a pleasure. Thank so you. So glad that you joined us. So let's, let's get this party started. Okay. Tell us about the foundation. Lone Warrior Foundation is a grassroots organization. It was started uh, last November. And what we do specifically is help single parents who are facing cancer and active treatment and their families. Um, from for our understanding, there's, we're the only one in the United States that works specifically to help them. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we provide them assistance while they are being treated for cancer. We provide financial subsidies, we provide food, transportation, those types of things to assist them during that journey. So Lone Warrior was created specifically to help those families and, and those, unfortunately, those recipients who are for battling cancer. So. How many uh, folks are you working with right now? Um, currently, we have three active recipients, mm -hmm. and we're, acti we're um, going to include two or three more now. We're going to—we are what they call an exclusive uh, uh, organization that works closely with Mayo. Mayo provides us with their um, their single parents, and so what we do is we interview them and then work closely with them to identify individuals that we can help and families uh, on their journey. So, is uh, do you? take people with any type of cancer? Do you take people with all Of cancer? course, it's open to, I mean, it, the, the, the framework is set up just to help single parents. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what type of cancer, doesn't matter what type of backgrounds or whatever, um, because when I was, when I started this cancer journey many, many years ago, I was a single parent who was raising a, a daughter at 18 and being a single father and raising my daughter since she was six years old by myself was a very daunting task. And then when I was diagnosed with cancer, um, it was very hard to live that journey by yourself. Okay. And so I, I, I believe the good Lord's put me on this path. And he says, you know, you need to help others. And so this is my legacy, as you, as you, mm -hmm. as you appropriately call this. But um, I feel it is my responsibility and, and my commitment to the rest of my life, even though I'm fighting cancer myself right now, um, to help others. Um, to weather the storm and get through this for them and their families. So. That, is a, that is a great calling, and, and it is a true legacy to, is. to help our fellow man, regardless of their situation. Uh, I applaud you for that. So um, what are your needs for the foundation? Well, we are in the genesis stage, mm -hmm. obviously, of what we're doing. Um, and because of that, um, we need help on all avenues and all fronts. Um, we. None of us are compensated for what we do. We all volunteer for the foundation. And um, what we do is we're looking for um, active leaders, board members. We're looking for volunteers. We're looking for sponsors. We're looking for the whole kit and caboodle. The challenge is, is being a new foundation. I'm, I'm learning to navigate the nonprofit world. And it's something I was successful in the business world, but nonprofits are as a different animal and different beast, as I'm sure you're aware with your background and experience. Uh, I'm learning that, unfortunately, unless you've been in that space for a minimum of three years, it's very difficult to get corporate sponsors and to get corporate support and those types of things. So we're going, we have to pursue private entities, small businesses, um, individuals, um, smaller organizations to try and assist us because the large organizations they have bylaws that specifically state unless you've been active for three years they can't assist you so it's a it's a rather challenging hill to climb so uh, what we're, we're doing now is we have um, we have a golf tournament coming up in November okay and it's going to be at Queens Harbor and um, we're going to do that as a fundraiser to try and get the word out as you know, when in that evolution, in that genesis, when the word is, is the key is to get the word out so people know who you are. Nobody knows who we are. I mean, we're the new kid on the block, and as you know, it's a very crowded space. The cancer world has a lot of uh, groups and entities in that in that space. So we're just trying to find our path and find our our spot in 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 that space. And then we have a huge gala, which is going to be at the Palencia uh, Country Club in December which will be a fundraiser, um, uh, a uh, 
dinner party, dancing, that type of thing for a couple hundred people to try and raise money, silent auction, that type of thing in December so that we can perpetuate that um, in awareness amongst the community. So that's really important. Rob, I got to tell you, as a start off, startup, you're on a great start. Mm. You got a golf tournament, a gala coming up, and you got a terrific mission that is great no doubt. in our community. So, uh, so thanks for joining us today on Legacy of Leaders, because I think the legacy you leave is going to be very profound for those who are impacted. So I thank you for joining us. I appreciate your time. Thank That's you right. for giving us some hope. That's it, folks. That's what we have for you today uh, on Buzz TV and Legacy of Leaders. I'm Jack Sears. If you want to learn more about the Lone Warrior Foundation, visit us on IWantABuzz.com. Until next time, take care.